Hey friends, Miss Patty here at the Lincoln Public Library and it is our craft day today. It's Wednesday and it is almost Easter so I thought it'd be fun to have a nice hippity hoppity craft that we can make. Um, today we're going to make these little hatching chicks. They are attached to a clothespin and I'll hold it up close so you can see. As you squeeze the clothespin, out pops the chick right out of the egg. Just like that. So what you're going to get in your kit is a clothespin and two sheets. One sheet has different eggs on it that you can color in and cut out. And the other one has little characters, all different characters. They've got, we've got chicks and all kinds of other little animals that you might choose to have hatching out of your egg. So choose your egg and color it in. Then what you'll want to do is cut it out, cut around the outside line. And then you're going to cut it in the middle, make it jagged like this so that um, it opens up. So you'll have two pieces and one piece will be glued. To, I'm going to show you the opposite side of this. One, the top part of the egg will be glued to one side, the, um, the top of the clothespin um, right here on this side. And then the other one, is going to be attached to your chick, okay? And then your chick is going to be glued to this part of the clothespin here. I'm going to lift this up so that you can see. See, the, the chick is going to be glued right there. So the chick is glued to the bottom part of the egg and then glued to the clothespin. And then the top part of the egg is also glued to the clothespin so that when you open up the clothespin, there it is. Cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. <laughs> okay. So that is our festive little Easter craft for this week. We've also got many Easter books on display. So if you want to come in and get into the Easter uh, reading celebration, you can come in and get some Easter books. We've got lots of other books, especially spring. We've got some Passover books. We've got Ramadan books. We've got books about planting seeds. We've got um, books about Earth Day that will be coming up later in April and all kinds of spring books that um, might help you prepare for the changing weather or flowers and planting. So come on in. It's a nice time of the year with lots of nice um, springy books to read. Um, we also have some in-person events that are happening these days. Our story time happens every Thursday at 11. So parents, if you want to register your children, um, the registration opens up one week before the story time. So every Thursday, the registration will open up for the following Thursday. And that happens at 11 o'clock in the big story room. It is limited um, in space. So um, be sure to register early before it fills up. Um, we also have Art Club for Older Kids along with um, STEM Time, which is for age 12 year olds. And we have um, yoga classes from, for five to 12 year olds once a month. So keep an eye on our calendar and um, choose what you might want to come and take part in. And um, just be sure to note that some of the activities do require registration because space is an issue. So um, please um, be sure to click on the event and if it is open for registration, it will um, give you a link that you can click on and fill in your information. And we'd love to see you here. It's nice to see things changing and um, getting back to in-person events because it was a long time coming. <laughs> um, so until next week, I will see you again. I'm signing off for now and we'll have another um, activity for you. So have fun with your craft and again, take a picture of it if you'd like and put it out on our Facebook page because I always love to see what they look like when they're done. Alrighty, bye-bye now.